<coughs> Good evening, once again, ladies and gender queers, goths, or gamers. I'm Mary Jane Blank, and I welcome you back to Gish, which is a difficult game that you, uh, I get better at with a lot of practice. And I've not played it for several days, so I'm going to fail probably for a good 25 minutes. Uh, but it's okay. That's a C la B. Fuck. Uh, that, that's just how it is, actually. I need to. Me slip and slide down this mat on her hot second. I'm just slip and sliding. Am I gonna get killed by this if I just stand here? I'm just testing out that, uh, fail state. Okay, really, I'm, I was setting a timer, but whatever. That was really what I was doing. Woo! Got him. Woo! Hey! Okay. Oh, I have to hit the... I have to hit the thing. That's why it's so fuck. That's why it's so fuck? Oh, man. What's this tough biz? Oh, hello! Good evening. Oh, fuck. Gnarled bone to my maximum while I die. Okay. I'm learning it. Wahoo. There you go. Yeah. No, I, I'm just thinking, you know, ow. Fuck, I died from fall damage. Fall damage. God darn it. Um, cog darn it. And yes, once again, it's not because I'm, I'm not it's actually because I don't believe in God that I tried to, to not say it. Just because. Wee! Ah, I'm trying to land on it from the side. Wahoo! Oh, shit. Okay. Hey. Get out of here. Whoa. Hey ho. Fuck! Banana squash. I, I went too early, is my problem. <sighs> That's my issue. I went way too early. Uh oh. Again, a little early. Yes, get hammed. Oh shit. Whoa, shit. Shit. Somehow. Okay, great. Okay, good. Shit. Come on. Okay. Hey. Who? Splatted. Splattered. Excuse me. Whoa. Oh gosh. Oh gosh darn. Okay. Here we go. Fuck! <laughs> I was so confident. Now, so my, 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 uh, I guess my, my tagline for, uh, my, I had sort of a tagline for myself, a personal credo, if you will, because I started 2019 playing Dark Souls 2. Uh, after playing through two complete playthroughs of Dark Souls 1. I did, I did a New Game Plus uh, of Dark Souls 1. Uh, so I'd played it for a long ass fucking time. A long time. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh, man. Almost. Almost. Could have survived. Uh, so, my, my, uh, my credo, my motto, my motto for 2019 was hubristic, hubristic deaths only 2019. Because this, like any, basically any game that's like, uh, very skill based, like especially like Dark Souls where it's not just like skill based, it's based around learning like this sort of particular set of controls and sort of, so once you learn it, basically you just keep dying from hubris. What? Shit. I guess I had to wait. Again, see, hub hubris. Because it's like, I'm relatively confident, you know, like, I've got the m primary mechanics down relatively, you know. That's kind of where I'm at here, too. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what 2020 is going to be. I, it's, it's definitely something not necessarily, well, not directly, or, yeah, indirectly video game related. Not, not, uh... <gasps> 420, though, <laughs> but I did die. Yeah, definitely video games are involved, since I'm, I want to keep making this, these vid, vid, vid videos and shit. Wow! 
Whoa. Hey, ho. Let's go. Oh, man. All right, now this is the hard part because this is what happens every time. All right. Hey, who? Let's go. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I do not wish to reference Goop, but how fucking funny is Goop, though? It's pretty hilarious. I mean, this bitch sold a My Vagina candle. Oh, sorry, I'm just still, still thinking about Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop. It hasn't come out yet in my present. I don't know about your present. But I'd probably say I have a feeling it's not worth watching. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck! Okay, interesting. Oh, it doesn't make a bridge. It, it falls in. Oh, hello. Complete! Hey, look at that! It only took me five minutes, too. Not bad. Or probably six minutes, whatever. Cool. Next level. Yeah, this is why I'm like, you know, I'm playing on a mode that it's like, okay, if I can beat it, then I can, you know, I could play through the whole game. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, may as well. I, I, you know, that's exactly, I'm doing it so you don't have to. Fuck. And I'm also humiliating myself so you don't have to. But it is definitely for my growing gratification. Ugh. Yes, humiliating, humiliating. God. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Okay, whee! Ho! <laughs> Alright. Ugh, fuck. The timing on this, this jump is hard for me to make. There we go. I did it. I figured it out. Kind of. I kind of figured it out. Uh-oh. Almost. Uh-oh. Whoa! Hello! Wait, can I stick to the walls? Or am I... Is sticking actually working? Like, seriously, can I just climb the walls? No, I can't climb the walls. Okay. I was like, I didn't think I could climb these walls. <sighs> yes! I love it. I love, love me some metal, some death metal. Oh yes, please. This metal is too alive. Please make it to death. <laughs> oh, that clipping, the clip when it restarts the 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 thing is hilarious. Oh, please don't kill me. Uh, thank you. Please. Oh, I pushed the wrong buttons, but it was fine. What? No. You are joshing me. Fuck! Okay. What did I just do? <laughs> like, wait. Ha what just happened to me? Oh, interesting. So there's like one on either side is what they're telling me here? Alright. Whoa! Yeah, sorry, I'm not feeling, ooh, up to, like, having a real good conversation with myself right now. I'm, I'm pretty much just this goo ball jumping up through this platformer. Fuck. I had to make sure I'm not muted, so. I lost my... My, my rhythm, my gish rhythm. My, my rhythm. My gush, my gush rhythm, my gush rhythm. Uh, okay, that's bad. You know, I am glad I never went into stand up, but especially because I would definitely rely too much on smoking weed to do it. Not that I don't already do that, but oh fuck, come on. Okay. Okay. Huh. 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 No. Fuck. This is actually like a little bit. Uh, it's like kind of hard. 
on my hands. It's very painful. Oh my goodness. Alright, anyway. I do like how Gish turns into like a, a fidget spinner a little bit. Just the sh I just love the shape. I just find the shapes s very aesthetically pleasing, you know? There we go. Sandwich! Fuck, 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 sandwich! Fuck, sandwich! I, I find it interesting, they are actually different blocks, even though they have the same, uh, sh uh, texture. The, like, rectangles I can stick to and the squares I cannot, seems to be the implication here. Ah, oh, Kremlin. Oh, Kremlin. Oh! Could you be? <laughs> I don't know why. Don't, don't ask me why. There's no... There's no good reason. There's no reason. Oh, shit. Yeah. It is kind of fascinating. I don't know. It, some people don't, don't appreciate the difference between uh, ignorance, uh, neg negligence slash ignorance, and uh, malice, you know? Because, like, people aren't negligent out of space. Bite. They're negligent because they're that's who they are. They're shitty. <laughs> they have issues with that. They're selfish, you know. And I say this being one of these people, unfortunately, myself. I am definitely trying to, to transmogrify myself into a into a new and better Mary Jane, but the truth is that that's probably a more accurate way of describing myself. Whoa! Is that whoa? That I'm, s I'm shellfish. I did it. Oh, secret! Oh, don't butter my biscuits, motherfuckers. Fuck. Okay. All right. What is this bullshit? I have to climb the damn boxes. I hate climbing the fucking boxes. Climb the boxes. Fucking Smash Brothers bullshit. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> climb the boxes. I need to get that for my N64. Ooh, I went to the wrong spot. That's good. Oh, I have to push the button. Ah. Yeah. Ah. I don't think that fucker is gonna get me. I think they're gonna chicken out. I don't think they're gonna fucking go through with it. Looks like a sub to me. Personally. As a, as a switch, I think I have a I have a discerning eye for submissives. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. I'm glad I saw that. <laughs> Holy crap! That was hilarious. Oh my god. Why? I love it. I love. I love. I did I have I mentioned how much I love bad AI? I love AI. Okay. You know what? It's all a front. I'm not afraid of the singularity. Okay. I do want AI to be my friend. I just. I just know that I'm gonna be socially awkward because like, I have had that problem before where like something that is the simulation of the real thing affects has affected me. Oh gosh. When I was younger, the same way as the real thing, and it's like whoa. I gotta separate that virtual from the from the real because uh, if you're closed off to like a virtual or simulation of a uh, negative experience, uh, then you don't have a safe way to figure out how to deal with those feelings, basically. It's all very, oh god, intense, to be honest with you. Hello, I fell. I would rather not die, but I can't, you know, there's only so much I can do to not die in this stupid ass game. Get out of here. All right. Oh shit! 
Gish always looks so excited though, at least. At least Gish looks happy. Yeah. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Crab. Crab meat. Imitation crab. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. I'm dead. Uh, oh well. I'm so glad I made the lives uh, irrelevant because, god damn, would that, would that suck? Live systems are so stupid. Hey, hehe. <laughs> so fucking funny it's just amusing you know like it's a really grotesque amusement again because it's a simulation i would be traumatized by the real thing obviously but this is a like a cartoon video game you know what i'm saying Whee! i guess that's not something you, i really want to be desensitized to uh yeah more like the abstract concept of loss oh shit because it's sort of inevitable, and like, essentially the idea is like, don't be too attached to yourself, to who you are, because not only are you constantly changing anyway without, without realizing it, but, um, but like, yeah, you may be called to change at any time for, uh, many reasons, because, like, tragedy changes who you are, T the trauma changes who you are, and, uh, and because of its inevitability, woo, you gotta accept shock, you gotta accept it, and try to find ways to cope. That's the, that's the, uh, whoa, that's an interesting section of life, is that figuring out how to cope. That's a challenge. That is a real challenge. Figuring out, like, healthy ways to cope, or trying to cope in ways that are not too unhealthy. I'm still, I'm still in, like, half and half phase. That enemy on the side is really distracting me. <laughs> okay, oh, buttons. Wrong buttons, wrong buttons. I hit the wrong buttons. Sweet! Ah, oh, motherfucker. Oh, I got it, but... That's an interesting way if I end up just sticking on these ones and then flopping down to the pre all cucks The previous ones. Sorry, I glitched my own... I glitched my little... My little cerebral cortex there. My little cerebral cortex. This is my cerebrum, duh. Come on. Just a part of your fucking brain. Wahoo! Fuck! I'm dead, but I survived. Okay, great. I'm so I'm so glad that I survived. Okay, the lighting effects in this game are just buck wild. Why? Why are there lighting effects in this game at all? You know? It's like an interesting kind of flex. Definitely a flex, it feels like. I mean, it's definitely, it's cool, you know? I, I, I can't really, I can't really complain. Woo. Whoa. Ah, shit. Shit. Ho. Ha. Ho. Ha. Ho. Ha. Ho. No. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta hit. Alright. Can I, like, sit on this thing? In some fashion? No. Can't. So if I try to jump, I may as well just stay stuck to it. Fudge! <laughs> just plop. Great, good. Oh, shit. That was an accident? Kind of? It was on purpose and an accident, but... Oh, intriguing. Is the, are the results different if I do something different, or is it kind of just like, we're coming for you? 
that is just always that is just amusing. Like the slaughterhouse looking motherfucker can't even fucking destroy my ass. Wahoo! I get, I got hurt from fall damage. Amazing. I'm like impressed by it because I'm like I was going that fast. Awesome. Ha! Yeah, Pink just got it. I'm so sorry to be a Nintendo chill, but I was born in the 80s, in 1988. I was born late in the 80s, but still old enough so that Nintendo raised me a little bit, you know? N64 was, like, my aspiration. My aspiration when I was a kid, like, one of my most distinct aspirations I had when I was really, like, when I was, like, eight or nine was to design Nintendo 64 games. Like, for some reason, it was, like, that was... I thought that was, like, kind of the pinnacle, you know? I thought it was, like, games have peaked, you know? Now that we've got the N64. It's very funny, because, like, it became... A, uh, outdated very quickly, you know? Uh, and then the 21st century, you know, basically, like, in the 20th century, fuck you. <sighs> like, in the 20th century, uh, you know, games were all kinds of things. Uh, you know. Uh. What? How did that happen? But also, why? But also, okay. So, I can't... Okay, this is not quite working for me here. Can you... Can you get me out of here? Oh my god, can I... There we go. Okay. Grr. What did I do? So, I became slimy? <laughs> yes! <laughs> they walked into it! It didn't even come to them! It came they came to it! Amazing. Beautiful. Fan tabulous darling. Fantastic darling! Yes! Anyway. Guess that impression. If if I did a good enough job, leave it in the comments who you think that was. Uh, because if I did a good job, then you'll guess correctly, and if I did a bad job, then you'll guess incorrectly, and I will have good notes for how to do it better. Wahoo! 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 Okay, okay, okay. I think I understand, like, what I'm supposed to kind of do here, because... Everything I just did was all based on momentum. Momentum. <laughs> Absolutely. Momentum. Oh, come on. Please. Oh, here we go. No, please. Uh, I just want... I just want... I just want to be where that other box is. I want to swing from that exact... Oh, that chain over there. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Whoo, ha, I'm straining my... Ooh, I'm straining my little goo ball self a little much. Oh, fuck a cha 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 Fuck a job. Oh, shit. There's nothing like a brain. Sweet. All right. <coughs> cool beans. Oh, no. Hello. Good friends. Crock. My favorite. Plop. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. You know what? I'm just gonna show for this 20-year-old show, Eon Flux, is so amazing. P 
Peter Chung, 1995. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. It is aggressively horny. It is also very, very, very postmodern and also a very, like, there's a lot of symbolism, but, like, it's, it's all, it's the kind of thing where, like, the symbolism is so obvious, you know, and they make it really clear in the commentary tracks of the DVDs that were made, like, ten years later, uh, that, oh, fuck, they make it really clear that, that, like, basically because the symbolism is so clear, they kind of play with that idea, you know, like, uh, a big episode I remember a lot of is this one, like, rear window kind of thing where uh there are these two countries Monica and Brenya and um Eon Flux is a Monacan like terrorist who will come who will like go into Brenya to destroy like bombs or she's not I guess she's more like a Monacan soldier because technically technically if you're at war with the other country, like, she's more like a spy, re weirdly enough, than a, than a terrorist, to be honest, even though what she does is, I mean, spies do terrorism, but still, you know? It's, it's not impossible for those to be separate, but, uh, I think, you know, she's, anyway, she's totally justified, but she's really interesting and great. Anyway, so, Monica and Brynja are separated, and by, like, really intense uh, like, these really intense walls, and, um, Eon can see over the wall into this couple's house, and they can see into hers. And so, like, through her hot, kinky leather sex, uh, her, her BD, her leather-clad BDSM, they are like, okay, we're gonna try to get through the machine guns, like, around the exits, right? And, um, and so she and her husband, or whatever, her partner, this woman and her partner do this thing. But anyway, point being, <clears throat> they play a lot more. So, like, the uh, Peter Chung, like, comments in, in the commentary about this episode that uh, everyone thought, interestingly enough, everyone thought that it was a commentary about the Berlin Wall, but he's like, no, it's a commentary about North and South Korea, of course. Like, because that, that's where I'm from. Like, what what are you talking about? Like, if, what, like it's so obvious. It's really funny. He, he does seem, like, a little bewildered at it. He's like, how did they not realize, like, how obvious? It's, like, too obvious. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, the, so, like, that's, they deal with a lot of interesting, oh, fuck, a lot of interesting stuff on that show. And it's a great, that show is a great example of, like, you know, you don't always have to make a good continuity to make a great show. Because the show, like, so many things about the world change from episode to episode, like, fundamental rules of the, of the universe... But, like, that's kind of the point. That's kind of what makes it so good. And then, of course, like, the part of the other interesting thing about this is the, um, the original short, uh, the original shorts. Um, because, spoiler alert, every short ends with Aeon Flex dying. Well, okay, that's not true. Every, Aeon Flex dies in every short, and most of them end with her dying. Most of them, the last, like, the last frame is her being killed by something in an unambiguous way or yeah no no, no yeah it's true it's not even yeah it's unambiguous they want you to know that she dies it's really good it's really good but yeah that's but anyway point being that she does never die in the uh in the show in the regular show uh there's so much basically like she and this guy, for Goodchild, who's the leader of Brenya, he, uh, it's, like, about them as, like, character foils, where he represents, um, like, complete order and eugenics and, like, total control, uh, and manipulation, especially. He's very manipulative. Uh, and she represents, uh, she represents anarchy, really. She represents not anarchy, really, as much. I mean, not, like, a non-hierarchical collectivist sense of living, so I guess not anarchy. But, uh, because that's, that's really, that's anarchy to me now. Um, but she represents, like, that true carefree spirit of freedom. Like, she represents, like, pure freedom, I guess. 
No, and I guess in that way, yeah, because she, she just does so many ridiculous things. Like, some things she does, like, like don't quite make sense on your on per first viewing, and you have to kind of rewatch it to be like, oh, okay, like, half of the show, she just does things for fun. Like, they're, most of the things that she does in the show, a lot of them are for fun, which makes the episodes where she's, like, doing something based on a deeper principle way way more uh intense but it is true uh it, it's unfair oh fuck she is an anarchist but anyway i'm gonna have to stop playing this game for now i'm mary jaden blank if you enjoyed my young flux tirade uh subscribe to my channel like this video and comment about what you think that uh that uh accent was earlier that i did all right later